What's up, guys? Welcome once again to Gossips 24, your number one 24 celebrity channel. If you are new, I beg, hit that subscribe button, click on the bell notification icon, like, comment, do whatever you want to do, and support this channel. I mean, you know, the vision I've been, always been telling you like, we want to hit 100k subscribers on Gossips 24. Okay, so. If you are returning to this channel, you know, like, we've been talking about almost everything, okay? Almost everything. Anything that happens in Ghana, we'll talk about right here on Gossip 24. So if you haven't checked some of our previous videos, do check them out. So today I come to talk about the trending news, okay? I believe you've heard Western Togoland and all that. <laughs> like Western Togoland and Charlie, a whole lot. Like some people wear them till up say they want to hear our noble brothers, the Votarians, for one body like one person with chip in the bar. Then they want for them our own country. They are the no go join Togo, then to the no go join Ghana. So they want for them our own country. Okay, okay. So this conversation has been going on like for a while now. Like a bar na koda. You go come uh, and you go bed. Small, then the conversation starts to come again. Then we start talking about it. Should they go? Should we keep them? Should they go? Should we keep them? It's like Pharaoh holding on to the Israelites. Okay. <laughs> now, just today, we were all asleep. Whilst we were asleep, like our brothers in Volta region, our sisters who are traveling out of Accra to Volta region, those who are leaving Volta region to Accra, to Eastern region, all that, they woke up began their journey, and then the roads have been blocked. Just like that. The roads have been blocked. They should go and find out. Uh, <laughs> this group, okay, this group um, who call themselves the Western Togoland Movement, whatever, whatever group, they've hijacked the roads, saying they are not going to allow any movement from Ghana to Western Togoland. <laughs> the place we call Volta region and Oti region, you know, they are not going to, they, are, they, have, they have like given it a new name, Western Togoland, and they are not going to allow any citizen of Ghana enter Western Togoland. And they are not going to allow any citizen from Western Togoland, that's uh, Volta region and Oti region, enter uh, Ghana, that's Greater Accra or Eastern region. So they blocked some of the major entries, um, like from Paul to Akosombo, that entry over there, they blocked it. And even before blocking the entries, okay, they went to Aveime and Mepe police station. And Charlie, the police people, beatings. <laughs> we don't know that one there. But some beatings, they go go on. You wouldn't say like, once they, are, they enter the police station, okay, they overpower the police people, um, the policemen and all that, the policemen, the policewomen, the police doctors, the police nurses, they overpowered all of them, tied them, and put them in the cells. Okay, and then they freed the prisoners in Mepe and Avema police station. They freed the prisoners and they allowed all of them to go. And then now the policemen became the prisoners. And they kidnapped three police um, men. I mean, like, how? <laughs> Keeping them hostage. <laughs> I don't know if they will exchange them for a ransom or whatever. But this whole thing that's happening, okay, I would like to um, share with you a video from uh, called Kevin Taylor when he was predicting um, what was going to happen in November. Though we are not yet in November, people are actually linking the video to um, the recent happenings that it was the same thing uh, called Kevin Taylor was talking about that currently happening. So let's go and watch um, that video, okay, from Kevin Taylor. Let's go and watch that short video. What, what exactly he was saying, and then let's come and continue this whole conversation on this Western Togoland and what is happening. And I'll give you a breakdown what, uh, on what exactly happened um, at the various um, blocking points uh, that this Western Togoland groups um, took over um, earlier today. So let's go and watch that video from the okay. You shut him down. You know the FBI have they, they have records of that. All right, let's leave that. Now there's something people have to understand in November. In November, and this goes to Western Togoland. This goes to the Western Togoland people. In November, 
Some people have been recruited into the national security, even as Zoko boys. They have been compromised. The Zoko boys are the NDZ boys, right? Yeah. They have been compromised. They are in the in the national security. Now, in November, these thugs who have been recruited into the national security will be sent to the Western Togoland area. They will cause a lot of mayhem, a lot, burn houses, cause a lot of problems, and then turn around and say that. Those people are separatist, separatist group and that they want to um, disorganize Ghana or cause a war in Ghana in November. Okay, so you've seen a video for yourself. Now, that's the video from Echo Kevin Taylor. Now, according to Echo, okay, if you didn't understand, Echo, they try to talk, say, uh, like in November, the government, okay, would deploy some national security personnel, um, compromise some... Um, is it as so, as so clear boys or whatever? I mean, I don't know their name. Okay, and these boys are believed to be members of a particular party. I don't want to mention. Now, they said the government are, will, will compromise them. You heard it from a call, Kevin Taylor's mouth. I'm not the one saying, I'm just interpreting whatever he said. And then they will form the Western Togoland, whatever, group, military group, and they will try to cause chaos in the voter region um, to, like, you know, raise pulses here and there to make voter regime and say for people to vote so that someone can win power. That was what I call was trying to say. But what actually went down today? Now, a guy on Facebook, okay, I happen to be a friend of this guy on Facebook, and he was traveling with his auntie to battle. Now, for most of you who know battle, okay, he was traveling with his auntie to battle, and he shared this particular detail on Facebook. So his name is Anthony Somebi. That's the screenshot you see right there. And I'm just going to explain some of the things he tries to say. So he says, this nonsense must stop. So my auntie and I needed um, to make an emergency trip to Bato in the voter region of Ghana. As early as 3.30 a.m., within the risks of traveling at night, we set off from Accra and around 5.30 a.m., we got to Sege. We made a left turn towards Bato, about 15 minutes drive, almost getting to Aveime, you, you remember I mentioned earlier that they took over their Aveime police station, okay? And um, took over their ammo, their guns, their bombs, their bullets, their bulletproof, their ammo cars, everything in the police station. They, they, took, <laughs> they took over. So they said, he said, at, uh, almost um, getting to Aveime, I saw a heavy traffic ahead with armed men. Um, in the beginning, we thought it was robbery. They were loaded with, um, with guns pointed at us, ordering us to come down immediately. And he says he nearly pooped. So I'm trying to not be easy. Like, you are just there, okay? You think, oh, I'm traveling to battle. This battle that, uh, even if our wives are pregnant, okay, if your wife is pregnant, you take her to battle, emergency, go to battle. They refer you, you have a um, fibroid, they refer you to battle and all that. Battle there, it's a big place. And... All of a sudden, I'm going to battle. It's an emergency, and then people are pointing guns to my head. Charlie said, you go urinate on the spot. So he said, he nearly pooped. The things they were saying in Ewe made me realize who they were afterwards. So what they actually said in Ewe was, we are taking our land. Now, so according to um, Anthony Somebi, these guys were actually there to take their land, not to harm uh, the travelers not to do anything. No, they are just there to take their land. So anything they can do to make sure they are sending some sort of information um, to the government that they really mean business with this Western Togoland thing, they are going to do it. And that was exactly what happened earlier today. So he said, my observations, now this were his observations. He was there, okay, he was there. This is like, you've seen death, okay, near death situation and then someone is telling you, how death looked like. So he was there and he was saying, because I could speak away, especially the Tongu, they were gentle and a little friendly with me. I played a nice guy and that allowed me to take these videos. Now, he said, now there was this man whose car was in front of us who spoke Chi and he was pleading with them, calling the guys, my brother. The response that came from the armed man was, today, dear, you know, Ewes are your brothers. Now, this is where the problem is, okay? Like, um, this whole thing is going to be, like, 
churned out as a tribal issue and all that. But I don't know. I can't say much about it. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, I can't say much about it, and that's what went down. So I'll be sharing with you some of the videos. Okay, um, looking at the comments and all that, I'll be sharing with you some of the videos that um, Anthony Somevi shared on his timeline. I'll be showing you some of the videos and how these men were dressed. They, they weren't even looking like soldiers in the first place. And you see, they mean no harm. But it's just that they wanted to send a message to the government. And I think um, the government should listen to them. Um, they should talk. Okay, they should talk. We are all brothers. Like, yo, we all be brothers. Like, our girlfriends be ever girls. Our boyfriends be ever boys. Like that. Our bosses be ever bosses. Our workers be ever's. Like, yo, we are all one people. You know, Bob. So, the government should just talk. A good father should work there. Okay, go to Western Togoland. Go and see their president. <laughs> go and see their president. Sit down and talk to them and let peace prevail. Like, it's all peace, 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 peace and love. That's all we, we've been looking out for. I don't know what the Peace Council is doing. Like, yo, this is the time, like, the Peace Council must come in and talk to them. And Charlie, a whole lot. So let's go and watch the videos from Anthony. And then um, don't, uh, don't forget, please, I beg, subscribe to this channel. Hit on the bell notification icon. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, at Gossips24. Let's enjoy the videos. Hey, go. <laughs> Eh bien, moi, les miens, toi, vois ça. Ah, bon! 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 Ah, Oh, so this morning uh, this is what is happening on the back door Segui road uh, on our way to the hospital but hospital this morning uh, we came to meet all these cars packed with uh, armed men who are alleged to be uh, uh, citizens or natives of the Bato Segui area these people are demanding uh, the freedom of the trans Togoland. Uh, they said since uh, 
the government or a, a fraction of a fraction of the uh, uh, fraction of Ghanaians are claiming they are not Ghanaians. We want their freedom, and this is the the reason for what is happening right now. Uh, uh, the, everywhere have been blocked. Everywhere to Mbaka has been blocked, and uh, more information has reached other areas that this place is blocked. There's no entry. Um, in fact, I don't know. We see armed men. In the beginning, we thought we, that it's even a robbery. Everybody's made to alight in park, and this is what is happening. I want to talk to this gentleman if he's willing to speak. Uh, then. Mm. Okay. Okay. I believe I have I am a there you go. I don't know, let me talk, what's that? Oh, go! 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 Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> 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 